What's going on YouTube, Official Keith here, and I am sitting in my car, which is a 2017 uh, Dodge Charger SXT. So this is the V6 variant, and I enjoy my car to the fullest, and I love it. Uh, I love driving it, and you can do spirited driving in this car. Uh, don't let the hardcore V8 owners tell you any different. You can do spirited driving in this car. The car does go fast. It may not be as fast as a V8. Matter of fact, we know stock is not as fast as a V8. We know this. But the car still goes fast. I mean, how fast do you need to go down the highway to get to the grocery store, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, I plan on doing some mods to the car. Uh, one of the mods, let me go ahead and turn this around. Right here. That's going to be my radar detector. That is, oops, sorry. I'm using my phone, by the way. Uh, that is the Whistler CR73 radar detector. Um, it served my needs very well. However, my driving needs have changed, and because it's changed in the routes that I take, um, I'm going to lean. I'm going to need a little bit better heads up um, when it comes to, um, you know, you know who scanning, checking uh, speed. Not that I'm speeding or anything, right? But um, I, I got an upgrade coming. And of course, there will be an unboxing video for that. Uh, but I just wanted to take you through some of the insides of the car as what I plan on, or to show you what I plan on getting modded. Uh, for example, there is a piece, um, if, you, if you go on YouTube, you can search uh, like cheap 50 cent mod or cheap $2 mod for a Charger Challenger. And it's this piping, this colored piping that you can get that will run all the way around there. I've decided to get the, the one with the light. And I'm getting the one where you can hardwire it um, to your car. So when it turns off, the light turns off. When it turns on, light comes on. Uh, because I'm tired of this situation right here. Of course, this is going to the radar detector. Um, and that when it's in, in itself. Um, when I get the upgraded radar detector, I'm actually going to do a blend mount. And I'm going to mount that bad boy right here and hardwire it into the back of uh, the mirror. Because uh, the mirror is a powered mirror. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna get that done. I'm also looking to get the shifter upgraded. Now, at first, I was just going to upgrade this piece right here, but then, based off of an upgrade that I'm getting, um, a, a wheel upgrade. I just go ahead and tell you, and shout out to the uh, the seller. Uh, he's been more than gracious uh, with how that's being handled, so I appreciate you. Um, but because of that wheel upgrade. Uh, I'm definitely going to upgrade this to a uh, a pistol a pistol grip shifter, and that should give you kind of a hint as to the wheel upgrade. But I won't say anything um, other than that. Then I'm going to upgrade this piece right here. As you can see, look, it's all it's worn out. I'm upgrading this. I'm upgrading this, um, and I'm upgrading this. And shout out to Hemi Fam. Uh, Hemi fam showed you how to take that off uh, but I'm upgrading that and then I'm probably I'm gonna put a button overlay on, on this um, so that'll be a video also uh, that you'll be able to see but basically I just wanted to shoot this video let you guys know that I'm still here you know stuff is still going it's taking a little bit longer uh, than normal to get uh, the vision of this channel how I want it to be but it's coming um, with a lot of you know a lot more of these types of videos uh, where we're just sitting either in the car or at the park or just wherever uh, just talking about the car itself now speaking of car let me just go ahead and say this uh, you know fast and furious dropped that trailer uh, and the trailer of course I, i'm a fast and furious fan you know you get a lot of people that says they'll say something like oh well you can't do that in the car re in real life well to the hardcore fan we don't watch fast and furious because you can't do stuff like that in real life like we know this right uh we just enjoy the movie and if you haven't seen the trailer i'm not gonna spoil anything on the trailer uh but dodge did drop a pretty big uh pretty big hint in there i'm pretty sure it's probably already all over the news right now uh people have dropped videos on it i know i saw a video uh from uh mopar family man um and he dropped that video um and you know, I watched that trailer. I had to watch that trailer like about ten or eleven times, and then I, it finally dawned on me on the fifth time that the hint was in there, or what Dodge was trying to tell us, I guess, was in there. But you know, we've 
we've been down this road before. Y'all remember that commercial where the Challenger was going down that closed circuit at night and the guy was like, uh, I can't even remember what he said, but he said something like, uh, release the demon or no, you don't want the, the demon to release somebody or a Smurf or something. I don't know, but it was the one where it did that outer body experience and then it looked like there was a halo on top of the Challenger. Uh, and you know, we just went nuts with that. It was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the angel and blah, blah, blah. And it was nothing. So I don't know though. This is a, this is a pretty major release. I don't think Dodge would just tease us like they did in the trailer and not come forth with what's in there. So like, again, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. Uh, go ahead and check out Mopar Family Man's channel. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to drop this video. Um, I might drop another video today. I might not. Let's just see how it goes. But as always, thanks for taking some time out to watch my videos. If you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. And if you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click on the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Until next time, this is Official Keith. You're now official. We'll see you later.